Hello, I like minimalism and I like capital wardrobes quite a lot. I talk about them quite a lot. And I think that people generally think that the, the main crux of these concepts is buying less, as though that is the aim to have less, to buy less, to own less. But I would like to make the argument that it's less about less and it's more about buying better buying smarter. We're buying intentionally because we actually know that we need the things that we're buying. We are buying things that will contribute to our lives and that we know will contribute to our lives. And this is a very important skill because if we don't buy better, we inevitably end up buying loads, just loads of stuff. We spend excessive amounts of money, we might go into debt, we buy things just to hold on to them. And of course we contribute to industries that produce excessive waste and just generally unsustainable practices. But this means that we need to know exactly what it is that we're going to buy. We need to know exactly what clothes it is that we are going to wear before ever owning them. It means we need to know ourselves and we need to understand the lives that we lead. And that's a big deal. It is a form of accepting yourself for who you are in this current moment. I used to love buying clothes for some version of me that didn't actually exist. You know, buying yoga pants for some version of me that did yoga or cocktail dresses for a version of me that went to cocktail parties but that's that's not me that's not the life i lead and that is fine this <laughs> this is me and that you know that's a, that's not a bad thing so the reason i'm making this video is because i have wasted a lot of money buying things that i did not end up wearing they just sat in my cupboard or they arrived and they didn't really fit me but i bought them secondhand so i couldn't return them and if i can save you from wasting that money then i intend to i feel like i've gotten a lot better at being able to buy clothes knowing that it's the kind of thing that i'm going to wear i was always a big fan of trying something new or going out of my comfort zone or taking a gamble, that kind of thing. But I know what I like and I like what I like. And again, that's fine. I think there's some loose concept that in order to make a change in our lives, we have to kind of change how we dress or change how we come across to people. But I do think that there is a, a certain connection between who you are and the clothes that you just like. It doesn't have to be any particular reason. It's just, it's like a friendship. It's like a bond. You and your style is just like a the coming together of two attracting things, two attracting fists. So anyway, how how do we find our sense of style? Well, I'm gonna answer that question now. The three best sources of inspiration are the clothes in your wardrobe that you love wearing, that you feel really comfortable in and that you look nice in, two, the clothes in your wardrobe that you do not like wearing, you just, you just have them for some reason, and three, Pinterest love Pinterest. So the first thing to do is to go to your wardrobe and get out the items that you feel comfortable in. Try them on and ask yourself some questions. What is it that I like about this? Is it the fabric? Is it the fit? Is it the color? Is it the style? Or is it the way that it goes with another item? Is it when you layer something together it just makes you feel a certain way? Go through each of your items and here's the important thing, take notes. It can just be take a note on your phone like this. It can be writing them down, but make notes about what it is that you like about those items of clothing. What do they all have in common? Are there any similarities between the items that mean that you know that that is a thing that you like in your clothes? It could be a sleeve length or a neckline or just something about the item of clothing that you would like your other items of clothing to have. Now, go through your wardrobe and find all the items of clothing that you do not like wearing. And again, try them on. Make notes as to what it is that you don't like about your clothes. These might be clothes that look nice on the hanger, or they look nice on the model when you're buying them, but really they don't suit you or they don't suit your lifestyle. And again, make notes on what it is that you don't like about them. Is it the fit? And if it is the fit, then specifically, what is it fit-wise that you don't like about it? They could just be generally too big or too small, but they could be, you know, they could fit your arms, maybe not fit your bust or you know, some other combination of those things. Learn about what it is that you don't like from your clothes. They might be uncomfortable to wear or they might mean that you have to hold yourself in a way that you don't really feel that comfortable holding yourself. You might just not think they're that flattering. There might be a color that you don't really like. Maybe it doesn't go with anything. Make notes, really, really important. Make a list. So now what you have is a list of the things that you do like and that you don't like from the clothes that you want to wear and the clothes that you want to buy. If you ever feel drawn to buying an item that has something about it that is on your no list, 
do not buy it. Remember that when people try to sell you stuff, they, they find the model that this particular item is gonna suit and they'll present it really, really nicely. And it's so easy to see an item of clothing or just any old item and see how well it suits someone else's life and think, I want that, that thing is an amazing thing because look how well it suits that person's life. That's not your life. You have to know what is gonna suit your life and your body and your tastes. It doesn't matter how nice things look on the hanger as well. I think that's a very easy trap to fall into. Sometimes things look so beautiful. You're like, that is just objectively a beautiful dress. And then I put it on and I'm like, oh, I have ruined this dress. <laughs> I have ruined this dress with my shape. But that's just, it's just one of, it's just, doesn't suit me, that dress isn't for me. And that, again, that is fine. I am not for the dress, the dress is not for me. So if you ever feel like making a clothes purchase, compare its qualities to the qualities that you've written down on your list. Now, on to the fun part, part three. We're gonna think about style and we're gonna go on Pinterest. So if you don't know where to start, I would recommend just searching outfits and seeing what comes up because it already presents you with a lot of options at the top of the page as to things that you might like to explore. And I would just start pinning things to a board. I'd make an outfits board and just start pinning the things that you really like. And bear in mind that these outfits are always gonna look nice on the models that you see wearing them. But we kind of go for general vibes and general styles when we're at the Pinterest stage of this. Build a catalogue of outfits that you really like. And then once you've done that, go through and try and think about what it is that unifies the pictures that you have put into your Pinterest board. Are the colors similar? Is the vibe similar? Or is it the silhouette? Is it the layering? Is it the accessories? What is it about all these pictures that kind of, what's the common theme? Maybe they all have denim. Maybe they all look really comfortable and snuggly and autumnal. Learn as much as you can about what you like from what you like is essentially what we're doing here. And try to condense your taste to a search term on Pinterest. That's something that I find really useful. I don't know if it's gonna be that applicable for everybody, but for example, if I, and I know this is a generalization, okay? I know that if I search Asian outfits on Pinterest, it just brings up a whole bunch of outfits that I would wear any day of the week, love them all. So that just means that I have a search term that I can go to and I know that I'm gonna see what I like there. And I've learned that from the search term Asian outfits that I like having you know, skinny, tight on one, on either the lower or the upper half, and then having baggy on the other. I like layering. I like a kind of combination between cutesy and grungy. I know that I much prefer my bottoms to be high-waisted. I know that I prefer three-quarter sleeves. These are things that when I am shopping, I will make sure I keep an eye out for because I know that it's, gonna, it's just gonna tick all my boxes. And the more boxes it ticks, the more that, you know, when it arrives, I'm gonna actually wear it frequently. Another top tip is to find a celebrity who looks like you and to see what kind of things their stylist puts them in. If you try and find someone with a similar shape and similar coloring, then you can see kind of what what their stylist thinks is going to suit them and the likelihood is that that's going to kind of be for you. My, I don't know if you, I've had the odd comment that said this, but um, there is an actress called America Ferreira, who, Ferreira, <laughs> America Ferreira, who was Ugly Betty and I am very much the spitting image of her to the point that watching Ugly Betty was really strange for me because it was my face. <laughs> I was like, what? what am I doing on TV? I don't remember doing this. It has taken a lot of trial and error to get to a point where I know exactly what it is that I'm going to like when I buy it, but I think it's a really important journey to take and it's quite a fun one. It's a fun and important journey to take to get to a point where you no longer have to return stuff or give stuff to a charity shop or relist things on Depop or just have things shoved in the back of the cupboard because you're ashamed of yourself for buying it in the first place. I've done a lot of that too. And of course, because it's my channel, I'm gonna to have to say that if you can buy secondhand or buy sustainable. Buying secondhand is ultimately so much cheaper than buying new and obviously you are not contributing to some of the bad things out there. And although they're often more expensive, if you can support a sustainable brand with your money, then that is also a way of having a positive effect on this world that is crumbling around us. The rule I follow is the more transparent the practices of the company, generally the more ethical they are. That tends to be the 
theme. It's not always the case, but I think it's a relatively reliable way of measuring ethicalness. What was that sentence? It was very long, it was very drawn out. And of course it's worth saying as well that if you are in a position and a situation where you can only buy fast fashion, buy deliberately. Even though the stuff is cheaper, you might feel encouraged to buy more and they try and get you to buy more, but only buy what you need and what you think that you're gonna wear. And if you follow the set of rules that you laid for yourself, then it means the likelihood of you buying something that will be worn and loved and cherished is gonna be much higher. So remember, don't buy more, buy better. I wish I could go back in time and tell that to my 19 year old self because she bought a lot of crap. She bought all of the things. If it was, that's the thing, if it was nice, I would buy it. That was the box it had to tick. That looks nice, come to me. <laughs> I will look after you. The back of my cupboard is what I would do with these things. Ooh. Obviously I wasn't um, like diagnosed as a shopaholic or anything, but I was definitely, there was definitely something about that chemical thing when I actually went to buy an item or, you know, even just stepping into a shop, step in, I'd be like, <gasps> I get this rush. <gasps> oh my God, today is the day my life will change forever. <laughs> That's what it felt like. But no, it, it stayed the same, except I had less money and um, my limited storage space was just pushed to brinking point, is what happened. So, minimalism, capsule wardrobes, yay, thank you. Anyway, I hope you're all doing very well and I shall see you in my next video. Thank you so much to all of my patrons, my patrons, the most wonderful patient people in the world. Thank you so much. If you are interested in joining my patron, what's it called? Patreon, then you can join from as little as a pound. I'll leave a link in the description. And I hope you are all doing very, very well. I shall see you later. Goodbye. Compromises, bargain prices, pay the cost to get what the hype is. Yeah, you need this, you're unique.